Welcome back, T Wolves. My name is Wesley Tolley, and I am your student body president. This is orientation for day two, Thursday, August 17th. Hey, T Wolves, it's great to see you guys again. This year, we want to emphasize our theme, inspire the one, become one Timpanogos. Here are some ways we can do that. Number one, inclusion. By including others, we are creating a community of one. Whether we're inviting someone to a sports event or just including someone in our lunch group, we are creating closer connections to our peers. Including others also helps to inspire the one. When we go out and include others, it inspires them to do the same. And when everyone is including each other, it creates a community of one here at Timpanogos. Another way to become one at Tippinogus is to get involved. Tippinogus has a variety of clubs and teams to join, and when we participate, we add to the spirit and culture of our school. We're excited to see you get involved and include each other this year. Number two, belonging. Here at THS, our goal is to make everyone feel safe and welcome. We are all different in many ways, but that's one thing we all have in common. We're, we all come from different backgrounds, and that makes us special. We need to accept others for who they are to continue fostering our amazing T-Wolf culture of belonging. We're all here to support you and your family. Number three, dignity. Dignity is the innate, equal worth of each human being, simply because that person is human. Dignity is our common heritage and birthright as human beings. So how can we honor one another's dignity? We can listen and show empathy. We can assume the best in each other. We can show interest and learn about and from one another. We can be open to new ideas, speak kindly, and be accepting of differences. By honoring one another's dignity, we foster and strengthen our culture of inclusion and belonging. This year, we have a new but returning principal. We welcome back Mr. Murphy, and we are so excited to have you back at Timpanogos. It feels like you never left. Principal Murphy, tell us about yourself, your family, and some of your hobbies, and then touch on our school, mission, vision, values, and goals. T-Wolves, welcome back and welcome those who are new to THS. My name is Principal Murphy and I look forward to connecting with each of you. So here's my story. I was born in 1969. I know, that's a long time ago. And grew up in Vernal, Utah. I attended Uinta High School, played soccer, golf, and basketball on the high school teams. And then graduated from Uinta High School in 1987. I left home, went to Dixie College, where I earned my associate's degree, and then took a two-year hiatus to the Dominican Republic. Y pues, por eso, hablo español. I came back and earned my bachelor's degree at BYU. I landed a job teaching math and Spanish, as well as coaching basketball, tennis, and advising student council at Canyon View Junior High School. I then transferred to Timpanogos High School and worked as an assistant principal from 2001 to 2005. I think that's still before you guys were even born. I left THS for three years as principal of American Fort Junior High and then returned to THS to work eight more years as principal of Timpanogos High School from 2008 to 2016. After a seven year interesting hiatus, I'm back as your principal. My wife Jody and I have three kids, Taylor, Aubrey, and Will. All three are THS graduates. We have three dogs, Dot, Jazz, and Mojo, who's not pictured. Some of my hobbies include golf, tennis, chess, and ping pong. And although I'm 53 years old, I still got game, guys, and I'm up for a challenge. Did you know Timpanogos High School was established in 1996? We are now in our 28th year. 15,000 plus students have come before you, walking these same hallways. They've given their best. They have treated one another with dignity. They have contributed to a culture and climate that has led to academic prowess, a community of one striving for excellence. We have a shared mission, vision, values, and goals. Our mission clarifies why our school exists. Our vision describes the school we aim to become. And our values communicate the attitude, behavior, and mindset we strive to model. And our goals are purposeful steps that lead toward the realization of our vision. Let's take a closer look at our vision, the school we aim to become, and the outcomes we strive to achieve. This green poster, you'll see it all around the school. You should see it in most classrooms, most every classroom. 
Here we go. You should be able to speak to the vision of Timpanogos High School. This is the school we're trying to become. We strive for every student to accept, respect, value, and embrace themselves and others. We strive for every student to approach learning and life with a positive attitude. In other, in other words, we want every day to be a great day to be a T-Wolf. We strive for every student to earn a high school diploma and prepare for life beyond high school, whether that's post-secondary education or some kind of specialized training. And we strive for every student to learn how to learn at deep levels and deliberately develop skills and dispositions for life. It's a privilege to attend this high school. The grounds and facilities, they're immaculate. This is your school. Take care of it. As always, our seniors, class of 2024, we expect you to lead the way. We are each, every one of us, students, faculty, and staff, expected to give our very best to strive for excellence. In one of my favorite movies, 42, starring Chadwick Boseman, the character Pee Wee Reese teaches us a powerful lesson on valuing each other. This is what Timpanogos High School is truly all about, valuing each other regardless of differences. You may have heard the name Jackie Robinson. If you haven't, Jackie was the first African-American baseball player to play in the major league, and a great one at that. We can learn a lot from Jackie and maybe even more from his teammate and shortstop, Pee Wee Reese. Check out this conversation between Jackie and Pee Wee. Shortstop Pee Wee Reese approaches first base to talk with Jackie and shows the crowd that he values Jackie as a person and teammate. As Pee Wee puts his arm around Jackie, the crowd takes note and starts to boo and heckle. You'll note that Pee Wee doesn't give the crowd a second thought. He has family and friends in the stands and he wants them to know he values Jackie as a teammate and friend. Check out this scene. I think they all they want. We're just here to play ball. It's just a bunch of crackpots still fighting the Civil War. Well, hell, we'd have won that son of a gun if the corn stalks would have held out. We just ran out of ammunition. Better luck next time, Pee Wee. Ain't gonna be a next time, Jax. All we got's right here. Thank you, Jax. What are you thanking me for? I got family out there from Louisville. I need them to know. I need them to know who I am. Hey, number one! Playing ball or socializing? Playing ball, up. Come on! Don't let us get to you! Playing ball. Maybe tomorrow we'll all wear 42. That way they won't tell us apart. Maybe someday we'll all wear the number 42. I love that line. Regardless of their differences, Pee Wee Reese chose to see his teammate as a person, someone of equal worth and value. This is who we are at Timpanogos High School. We all wear the number 42. There is no one person nor program more important than another. Over the years, Timpanogos has become more diverse. We are different from one another in many ways. Ability, background, culture, size and shape, values, appearance, religion, and political views, to name a few. It's a good thing. Our diversity makes us stronger. While we acknowledge our differences, we make every effort to value, accept, and respect one another, regardless of those differences. We learn from one another. We learn about one another. We see one another as individuals of equal value and worth, meaning that we honor one another's dignity. We choose to build, lift, and celebrate other successes. We are T-Wolves. We are family. We are a community of one striving for excellence. We love you and look forward to a great year. Okay, T-Wolves, that's a wrap. Your teachers are now going to lead you through an activity that will help you start to connect with your peers. And remember, guys, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a T-Wolf. Wolf.